Here's the west side Long Island Railroad layover yard um, on the west side of Manhattan. This is 11th Avenue, uh, how it looked in the uh, early 20th century, and here it is now. Um, this was, had been the uh, New York Central 30th Street yard, a freight yard for many, many years. And now it's layover tracks for uh, Long Island commuter trains. But um, this whole area has a railroad history, um, and that's continuing now. This is the beginning of the new tunnel under the Hudson River. There you can see the suicide shawarma and Hudson Yards um, real estate development. Eventually, this whole yard will be under um, under a deck and have high-rise buildings on it, I'm sure. But the trench in the foreground there is the beginning, the ramp down into the, the new um, tunnel that they're building under the Hudson River as part of the Gateway Project. I went by a couple weeks ago and they're um, starting the, the physical ramp down into where the tunnel tracks will be. Um, those yellow beams are holding the sides apart. This whole section of Manhattan is a lot of fill, so um, there's not a lot that, of structure to hold the sides up. As you can see, I was standing on the high line, and it, the tunnel runs under the high line, and then that, that barge in the middle of the Hudson there is a caisson that they're using to actually start the tunnel through the water. And as you can see, there's a lot of railroad history in this part of Manhattan, um, where that white tent is. That block used to be the Erie 28th Street Yard. Just past that is the tunnel, um, terminal storage building, and then uh, the Lehigh uh, Starrett building is behind that, which used to be a Lehigh Valley Yard. You can't see the B&O is on the other side of that building. So all of the rail marine um, terminals are all in a line in this area. I was just interested that there was so much activity happening on this, uh, this was a Wednesday morning. Um, a lot happening, um, preparing the soil to be dug up or, um, tunneled through. There, the, this new tunnel will eventually, uh, replace the current tunnels, which were built by the Pennsylvania Railroad in the, around the turn of the century, around 1910. Uh, those tunnels have um, lasted a long time, and they are very uh, affected by sandy f flooding. So the, um, those new tunnels will eventually uh, replace those those uh, Pennsylvania tunnels for a time, and then they will go back while the the new tunnels are being used uh, to cross under the Hudson. The um, the original um, Pennsylvania Railroad North River tunnels, they're called, will be rehabilitated, and they'll have a chance to shut them down and really work on them and start bringing them up to modern standards and uh, make them safe again. Because as of now, their pieces of concrete are falling and the concrete itself is actually degrading um, much quicker than they thought it would, even though it is 100, over 100 years old now. Um, this area of Manhattan was actually where the first New York Central Railroad passenger station was um, about a block 
east of here. And um, that actually predates the original um, Grand Central Station or terminal and, uh, and then the subsequent terminal. So the New York Central used to run down the west side of Manhattan. Uh, once they built Grand Central, they switched over to the east side or kind of midtown area. Um, but as you can see directly below the, um, the high line, uh, this open tunnel top, uh, it does extend down about three stories underground. Those uh, side panels are really doing a lot of work holding, shoring up the sides, keeping the, the walls from collapsing. Uh, they're putting in um, concrete forms and then they're going to pour the concrete uh, side walls. So as of now, they're just temporarily held in place with those, uh, with those um, stabilizing posts. <laughs> Here you can see some of the work. A lot of this part of Manhattan was actually um, filled in uh, with uh, material. Um, it was actually would have been part of the river um, and and they just fill it in to make the island bigger um, so a lot of the soil they've been finding has uh, um, like animal bones specifically pig bones because this area was uh, where a lot of the slaughterhouses were um, and instead of carting it off to other places, they just used it as, as fill to make the island bigger um, in, the, in the 19th century. Um, so that's interesting to find the history of, of New York um, underground. But yes, originally this, was, this would have been um, under the Hudson River or the North River as it was then called. So after the uh, new, new tracks are laid and the new tunnel is dug, and eventually the um, existing current tunnels will be re rehabilitated and they will be up to full, um, double the capacity of what they have now. So um, hopefully that will help a lot with the congestion on the Northeast Corridor, and we can get more trains and keep the schedule better. So here are those layover Long Island trains. Uh, in from the morning commute, uh, they'll be here waiting and ready until going out in the afternoon. Um, this lead track to the tunnel is, is at the south end of the um, layover yard. Here you can see the workers installing some panels um, between, by the shoring wall. Eventually there'll be um, concrete poured between those panels. And as you can see, there was a, it was a, it's a very busy place. There's a lot going on. I just thought that maybe some here would be interested in seeing what was happening. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, there will be more to come.